Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we are going to be unboxing goodies from MVD Entertainment. It's a crazy coincidence because we started this week, if you're watching these videos as they go up, we started the week with my interview with producer, director of the violence movie one and two, uh, Eric D. Wilkinson, who is the man behind the MVD Rewind collection as well as the MVD Marquee collection. And I'm really proud of that interview. And hopefully it will have a long life here on the channel. More of you will continue to discover it because really, uh, it's it's so wonderful to be able to connect with the people who make this stuff possible and find out that they have the same love for it that we have for it as fans. So I'm going to link to that video right here just in case you haven't seen it. But I was not planning on closing the week with MVD talk as well. But here we are. I came home from work. I've got packages in the mailbox from MVD Entertainment. I think I know what's inside. So I've done a little bit of preparation work. Hopped in the shower. Turned on the camera. Here we go. So with all that out of the way we have started the week with MVD we're ending with MVD let's start with this yellow envelope uh, I think I think there may be a breaking news release in this uh, in the, yes oh my goodness you guys okay Laurel and Hardy the definitive what are these called the definitive restorations this is a four blu-ray set uh, 2k and 4k remasters from the oh from the original 35 millimeter nitrate this i you know what i as this video is going up as i'm recording this video i may be one of the first people to actually have this in my hands so let me use this opportunity to talk to you about what's actually here so uh four disc sets here i'll show you the back of the packaging and then we're going to talk about it too um okay uh, and the new 2K and 4K digital restorations from the original 35mm sources, Laurel and Hardy's classic comedies are here in the best quality since their first release. Bonus extras, 2,500 rare photos, posters, and studio files, commentaries by Randy Skretvit and Richard W. Band, film and audio interviews with Laurel and Hardy co-workers, alternate soundtracks, music tracks, trailers, almost nine hours of rarities uh and uh you know what i'm just gonna hold i'm not gonna read every single one of the shorts to you i think there are uh, less than 20 shorts that have been restored this is why when we had our recent three stooges unboxing which thousands of you guys have watched you big three stooges fans out there um and i said like if you're waiting for blu-ray it's probably if, if blu-ray comes like it won't be the complete three stooges these things take time many 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 hours many 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 thousands of dollars to restore and you look at a catalog as deep as laurel and hardy actually this is one of the things i was hoping would be in here so i could show you guys this is my my laurel and hardy collection i have this massive box set uh this is from the uk and it's it's almost everything. It's a 21 disc set. If you look, you can kind of see the the hats there. Um, this is from who was the company that put this out? Uh, it, I think it's actually gone out of print. Is as, uh, as, as I'm recording this, I think this is out of print. I think this is just a Universal box set. Yeah, from Universal. Uh, but it was from the UK. It is PAL, so you do have to have either region free capability or region two player. But this is my Laurel and Hardy set, so I am a Laurel and Hardy fan. But this, clearly, to be restored for Blu-ray is going to take a very, very, very long time. I'm just thankful that they've started the process. This is done by the UCLA Film and Television Archive, the Film Foundation Cebu Cat. Um, so you know what let's 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 dig this thing out let's let's open it up I, th i've been excited about this for months as soon as this was announced we uh we covered it at serial at midnight.com remember guys if you're only watching these videos you're missing i mean this is maybe 50 percent. it's probably less than 50 percent of what we do if you're only watching the videos you're missing a ton of stuff please follow us on facebook on our social media twitter uh and at serial at midnight.com all the links are in every single video that we put out um, if you go down to the video description, you can find links for all those things. Okay, so here's the discs themselves. It's disc one and two. And let's see. Discs three and four. Hopefully you guys got to go. Sons of the Desert, The Battle of the Century. Is the music box here? Yes, disc three, The Music Box. One of the most famous comedy shorts of all time, I think. 
Uh, I know people still go visit the music box steps. Um, Okay, so this, you guys, I'm gonna put, I know there's a lot of classic film fans, a lot of film preservation fans here who uh, may be interested in this. So I'm gonna put links to this in the description of this video and you better believe that we will be reviewing this. This is a high profile release restoration of some of the most famous comedy shorts of all time. You better believe it. So this is just the beginning of our coverage of Laurel and Hardy. You guys, there's more in this envelope. So let's see what else is here. Oh man, oh, this is MVD Marquis. So we know Eric D. Wilkinson was in charge of this release. This is I See You. Uh, it's a Sylvester Stallone thriller. It I'm, it kind of walks a lot. It's almost horror. I think it may be as close as Sylvester Stallone ever got to a horror film, um, to being in a horror film. What years? I'm going to say this is around 2001, uh, 2002. Um, and it has uh, quite the cast. Buckle up for the cast, you guys. It's got uh, Sylvester Stallone, Tom Berenger, Charles Dutton, Sean Patrick Flannery, young Indiana Jones, but I know a lot of people know, know him from the Boondock Saints, Dina Meyer, Robert Patrick. Have you seen this boy? Uh, let's see. Anybody else that we want to talk about? Jeffrey Wright and Chris Christopherson. My man, Chris Christopherson. Um, this is a this is a big upgrade over my previous edition of this. I have this three pack of Stallone movies that I think was directly from the label, the the company First Look Studios. Uh, let's see if that's if that's here as well. If we have any First Look Studios, it's D E J Productions. Anyway, uh, this was a three pack, and uh, Avenging Angelo has its own disc, and then the other two movies, I See You and Shade. It's a flipper disc, man. So that's what we've had, as far as I know, that's what we've had up to this point. Um, you guys, uh, if you if you like Sylvester Stallone and you are uh, looking for, I don't think a whole lot of people have seen this movie. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. If you're looking for some hidden Stallone gems that didn't get big, wide releases. See, this is kind of at a period in his career. Um, it's kind of after the Rockies. After, but well, here you see. Here's the thing. It's it's but it's it's after kind of a lull. That's what I'm trying to say. But I want to be nice about it. It's kind of a lull. The action movie heroes had kind of been packed in in uh, packing peanuts for a while. You know, St uh, Schwarzenegger was you know, he'd gone to do like politics and stuff. Uh, the torch had been passed to guys like Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham and stuff like that. Uh, and the heroes kind of just took a back seat. So this came out. He They were still making movies. You know, like Van Damme. You know, we talk a lot about Jean-Claude Van Damme and that, in, that interview with Mr. Wilkinson. Uh, he kind of... They, they still made the movies, but we didn't always know about them or see them. So... Um, this comes from a period in Sylvester Stallone's career, probably his most obscure period, maybe pre-Rocky as well. You get into like Lords of the Flatbush era too, or um, you know that whole kind of time frame. But there's a couple of periods in Stallone's career where he was doing really good stuff, but it's just not that known. It's not widely known. So big shout out to Eric for... Uh, well, it's the MVD in general, but I know that Eric put so much of his own blood, sweat, and tears into these that um, he he uh, he was all over this. So this just came out. I think it came out a couple of months ago, but it's been kind of hard to find because of the quarantine issues and the uh, you know stay-at-home orders and shelters in place and stuff like that. I know for a long time uh, I was trying to find this, and I just like the stock just didn't seem to be around. So I'm glad to. Um, Glad to be able to spin this, and I will be reviewing this for you guys, absolutely. Oh, man. The last thing in this box, and remember that this was in the envelope. We still have a whole other box to go through. Uh, this is Raiders, the movie, the story of the greatest fan film ever made. This is the story of those, those kids that made their own... After Steven Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark was released 35 years ago, three 11-year-old boys from Mississippi set out to set out on what would become a seven-year-long labor of love and tribute to their favorite film, a faithful shot-for-shot -shot adaptation of the defining action-adventure film. They finished every scene except one, the thrilling, explosive airplane set piece. So this is the story of these... This is a very famous... Like This has gotten so much love because it's like... Uh, 
you know, it's like Adam Goldberg from the Goldbergs, you know, it's like, so like these kids who grew up on cinema and then they kind of try to make their own movie. Eric D. Wilkinson. Oh, I mean, the, see the parallels are just too, I, I can't pass that up. Eric D. Wilkinson was a kid who loved Friday the 13th so much. He made his own movie, uh, rented a camcorder, you know, video camera, went in his backyard. He and his brother made their own movie. Now you can buy that movie. So, um, this is the same kind of thing. Of course, that would resonate with people like you and me. So, uh, this is one that I've kind of been wanting for a while, and uh, the good people at MVD Entertainment sent this over to me so I could review. So, uh, a review it. So, of course, this is going to be coming, coming to you guys in a re future review palooza. Uh, Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy. Uh, fantastic. A 2015 movie. Now, this is also from MVD, but if it is what I think it is, it's from a company that MVD distributes for and not MVD itself. And I think it's of the Serials Persuasion. Not Serial, Serials. If you guys have been paying attention to our Serials at Midnight, we have two installments up so far. Um, Superman and King of the Rocket Men. The third one will be coming. I'm gonna, my goal is to try to do those like once a month. I think this is uh, my cereal order, cereals order from it's the paper. It is. It's my cereals from the VCI sale. VCI about a month ago. Here, I don't know if this is common knowledge. MVD distributes for VCI, VCI Entertainment. Um, they had, in fact, you know, we did a, a sale haul. It was an MVD sale haul. I want to say it was about two months ago, and I picked up a bunch of cereals during that. Green Hornet, um, uh, Terry and the Pirates, bunch of stuff. We talked about that. That was an MVD sale, but it had a bunch of VCI stuff in there as well because they distribute for VCI. So uh, a lot of the stuff kind of falls under the same umbrella. Uh, but these were um, VCI. Their their own site had a sale. It was about a month ago, I think, as I'm recording this video. It was like 32 days ago. And I placed an order, you know, with the, the stuff that's happening right now, the public health crisis that's going on. Shipping is slow. Warehouses are slow. People are operating on skeleton crews. Um, so this has just arrived. So I'll show you what I got. And this will be a sneak preview for future cereals at midnight. I grabbed the complete Dick Tracy. This is every Dick Tracy cereal. Uh, this is, and it, it's, it's cool as well because we are observing the 30th anniversary of the dick tracy movie warren Beatty, madonna al pacino um and then like every oscar winning actor ever is in like huge cakes of makeup over their face like dustin hoffman and uh henry silva's in there as well anyway this is uh the 30th anniversary of that that movie and what better time to talk about some of the serials of course it was a comic book from chester gould first and foremost but this collects dick tracy from 1937 uh republic serial it collects dick tracy returns from it does not have the year for, oh 1938 uh from 1939 dick tracy's g-men are you one of those g-men c i'm gonna smoke you with my heater fella uh and then uh, 1941 dick tracy versus crime inc uh these have all been released individually so you don't have to buy the box set but you got, i think this box set for all of these cereals was is there a receipt in here i think it was 14.99 which i was like what $14.99 for all four of these cereals. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hold it down here because it's got, might have secret information on it. It doesn't have the prices here, but I'm telling you guys, it was like $14.99. And I think these cereals on their own were like $19.99 when they came out. So, um, you know what? I want to look at the artwork really quick. You guys want to hang out for a second? We can look at the art on the discs. What if they're just like plain black discs like black with silver writing or something that would be disappointing hopefully oh they're they're good okay there's our first one so two discs for the first serial two discs for the second serial i haven't really seen that one yet myself because i was showing you guys oh man um here's interesting so they've got um yeah yeah g-men dick tracy and the g-men and then Crime Inc. So everything has two discs, which has lots of room to breathe. That's good. I'm excited. Okay, then I grabbed a uh, Radio Patrol. What can I tell you about this one? These are all blind buys for me. Now, I've seen some of the Dick Tracy ones, but um, 
I don't remember a whole lot about it. It was a long time ago. Radio Patrol is from... Mm, this may not be the place to do this, the time and place to do this. Anyway, <laughs> Radio Patrol. Keep your eyes peeled for future serials and midnight coverage of these titles. Captain Midnight Serials. Okay, Serial at Midnight. We'll do a Serials at Midnight about Captain Midnight. Maybe I'll upload it at midnight, and I'll be eating cereal while I do it. There, the symmetry. Boom. Patterns. <laughs> so what are we doing? Um, this is this is one of those that I've been kind of uh, really excited about. There's certain ones that you just like, oh, Captain Midnight, man, that's the one. Um, 1942, okay, we're almost done. SOS Coast Guard, um, a Republic serial in 12 parts. And last, but certainly not least, a Blu-ray, a restored high-definition Blu-ray transfer from the 35 millimeter, uh, oh, the 35 millimeter fine grain print. Uh, this is The Vanishing Shadow, remastered in 2K. I don't know if you guys can see the robot on the back of that. I'm sorry, the robot. If you can see the robot, I love me some 30s robots and some 40. You know, I love Iron Giant as well. I like Iron Giants right over here out of frame. Hopefully, you've seen our Iron Giant unboxing video. Link to that, Heath. Uh, but um, I love, I just love me some old school robots and there's a cool robot in this one too. Uh, okay, so um, I've actually, we live in a really cool time because VCI has been, if you're looking for serials, I, I think, you know, there's a lot of, so many of them have gone into the public domain, but I think that VCI is really committed to cinema history and they have done a lot of work to, if there's one company that's leading the way with serials on DVD and Blu-ray, it's VCI. And like that release, the one we were just talking about, The Vanishing Shadow, this is the classic cliffhanger Blu-ray number three. So I think they're up to, it's like eight or nine as I'm doing this video. Like they've been cranking out some Blu-rays for some serials. Uh, some of them, you know what? I've heard reports some of these are uh, BDRs. They are burned on demand, manufactured on demand and not pressed. Let's see if we have any, if we can weigh in on that. Mine is pressed. This is not burned on demand. This is a pressed, a factory pressed disc and with the robot that I was talking about. Can you guys see? Let me get that straight. There's the robot in all of his glory. Guys, this is an exciting video. I actually, I should hold this up and do like a, do, do a thumbnail. Let's see, we're, we're gonna lead with Laurel and Hardy because that is the hot news right now. And I know that so many people have ordered this and they were it, it got delayed because of the you know thing we're talking about. Um, and it's finally starting to ship, but I haven't seen anyone's arrive yet. So let me hold these up and uh, there we go. We'll do, there's our thumbnail. I have to stop talking so I can smile and make like a friendly face, so. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Once again, you were here for the magic. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out for this MVD Entertainment and VCI Entertainment unboxing. Uh, I'm so excited to be able to be able to discuss uh, Laurel and Hardy with you and then all this other cool stuff too. So stay tuned. This is just the beginning. Our unboxing videos are just the beginning. There's a new review Palooza coming soon. Uh, so thanks to you guys, thanks to MVD really for their generosity and their time and for sending us some of the stuff to review so that we could share this, you know, pass this on to you. I love what they're doing and they're the nicest folks guys that, and that matters that that's important. Um, everyone there has been so just so easy and pleasant to deal with and they really do love this stuff like we love it and that's not always the case and I'm really grateful for that. So thanks to MVD, thanks to you guys. Take care and until next time, I will catch you later.